This video is only one part of an in-depth review, so check out the rest at thegoodride.com. Thanks for watching. Welcome to The Good Ride, where we've been sucking less every year for well over 10 years now, since 2006 part-time and full-time since 2010. This is the Cardiff Crane, and we have the solid right here and the split. Clint mainly rode the split. I mainly rode the solid but I got a little time on the split too, but this is about the solid. I rode this with Union Atlas, my Burton Kendos, Union Contact Pro, and got this in a wide variety of spring conditions. Pretty much only that, a little firm and sometimes unfair, uh, to firm but fair, to kind of soft and edgeable and fun, to slushy. To give you a short summary, this is a all mountain offering from Cardiff. We would say it leans a little more on the free ride side of all mountain because it's slightly tapered and a little more directional than most all mountain boards, but it only has a few mil of taper. So if you throw it around switch, if you want to treat it a little more centered, like a mountain freestyle ride, it is definitely not going to shit the bed. It's a good board uh, for those that kind of lean a little more directional on the all mountain side of things but still want one board to do it all yeah. and um, I'm calling it all mountain and it just has a stable forgiving uh, easy turning yeah. um, fun carving decent pop kind of all-around feel yeah. and when it comes to sizing I uh, like Clint and I. I think both are on agreement here. Yeah, one fifty-six. The fifty-eight is too big. The fifty-four is a little too small. If they had like a one fifty-six with my size nine boots, your size ten boots, mm -hmm. one hundred seventy pounds, one hundred ninety pounds, it would be um, perfect for me. I think that yeah. the fifty-eight felt a little big, a little slow, uh, but still doable the 54 felt just a little too like i was big boy you know like big fat boy. fat guy in a little fat coat, in a coat <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah uh just that was a i was kind of overpowering it a little too Tommy much. boy i don't know if he was shredding too hard you know uh, no no <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to camber profile um and we already talked about the shape it's slightly tapered slightly directional and then it has camber between the feet going to rocker in the tip and tail we call that hybrid camber and it gives a on snow feel that feels very a lot more double ender than you would think looking at the specs yeah uh, it feels very between the feet it feels very forgiving very easy to skid a turn very easy to one foot off a chair very easy to flat base down a long flat cat track yeah. and it's just not that it's not very locked in but still very fun and uh, easy to skid turns. Yeah, so. Very, very um, centered and not as washy as you would think for yeah. having a little bit of taper. Mm -hmm. And let's talk flex. You can see in the middle here, pretty stiff. Yeah. Then in the tip and tail, it feels like it carries that same stiffness throughout the tip and the tail. Yeah. So a lot of hybrid camber boards like this are pretty easy to butter. This one took a bit of work. Yeah, you definitely had to throw it in, throw it out at it a little more. But it has good pop. You yeah. can generate an ollie. It's pretty easy to access. It's not like a lot of stiffer boards where you have to give a lot to get it back. Mm -hmm. This one I didn't feel like I had to give a lot. I, I thought it popped well um, and it buttered okay. If you like a more challenging butter, you'll like this. Yeah. And then as far as speed goes, the bases are super fast. Yeah, very impressive card of, card of bases. And you can point it with these. You yeah. could, um, I mean, this isn't like the Bonsai, this isn't a bomber, but f compared to a lot of all mountain boards and uh, even some like more traditional, more tapered, directional, longer free ride boards, this can point it pretty well, especially if you're somebody who likes a, who wants a good stable straight line into a jump. Yeah, and like uh, a where we live natural here in the, feature. the Northwest here, the resort we ride at, there's a lot of that, you know, a lot of long stretches where you do need to hold speed and uh, like with the bases and its ability to kind of be stable in those conditions too. Uh, yeah, really good board for that. To springboard off that, with uneven terrain, this can handle like again really well like let's say you're out somewhere in the back country and 
or you're out at Mount Bachelor, kind of off piste, <laughs> yeah, anywhere, and you're going it's... through some kind of like sketchy line that has all this bumpy, uneven snow into a jump. Yeah. It's gonna handle really well there. It's yeah. not gonna be like the bonsai um, for yeah. powering through chunder all day. Yeah. Uh, but it doesn't feel fatiguing, and no. I feel like I could control it, and it tracked really well into um, features, even if you had to get through some some weird, messy, whoopy, whoop de doo yeah. spots, and to get to that little jump, I think it'll do a good job there. Yeah. And edge holds really good, uh, borders on being very competent in mm -hmm. hard snow. Not really an ice specialist, but yeah. Yeah, medium to hard snow, it's, it feels very comfortable and competent. Yeah turn initiation it's it's not a super quick turner yeah. it's got a little bit of that like that jump kind of board yeah it's kind of like you give what you put into it on the, on the carve yeah yeah it likes to track more yeah. than it doesn't really like this like super like circle carvey turn yeah it's kind of more medium radius to like semi-wide radius Mm -hmm. to just long down the line S turns, kind yeah. of tracking into a natural feature to get some air. Totally. Uh, that's where I think this board kind of shines turning wise, but you can still do a little bit of everything turning wise and it carves pretty well, has good spring out of the turn. Something about the side cut with Cardiff and all their boards, I've just really appreciated the way it interacts with the camber and it just has, such a cool turn to it, especially with this little with 54. Yeah. I loved being a little oversized for this board. Yeah. Um, well, it, I bet it was, it was fun much with more easy to manage. Yeah. Even with the split, I love just kind of making those carves and doing those little jump 180 carves. It felt very natural to do something like that. Again, even though it's slightly directional, it felt really good on edge uh, on both sides of the board. So when it comes to powder, there's a decent setback on board. Uh, not a lot, not like, um, the bonsai or the pow goda, or uh, from what I understand, even the goat, but it's great for that all mountain category again. Yeah. But we didn't get any, so we don't really know, but just based on the specs and the early rise in the nose, the slight bit of taper, yeah, love, should do okay. Love an opportunity to get this uh, out in powder next maybe, year. Maybe next year, but yeah. again, yeah, like we were saying, it's a long season, a lot of different conditions throughout the year, and if you're looking for a board that can kind of handle each type of season that you get here in the Northwest or wherever you're at, um, this is a great board for that, for that kind of season. Yeah, kind of riding switch, hitting the park, um, you can do this with this. I wouldn't yeah. want to jib with this, but hitting jumps in the pipe, this is going to be great, especially jumps. This is just, uh, this is a great jump board, uh, but I had no problem making a couple, you know, old man turns, just coming in, going old man hard, which means you're totally not, you're not erect, but you can still penetrate. <laughs> I had a lot of fun turning in the pipe, but I really enjoyed just hitting off like little jumps in natural features. Yeah. And I think in a jump park, you could have a time with this. But overall, again, if you're looking for kind of more slightly tapered all mountain, a board that can do everything well, nothing great, and just like Clint said, match with all seasons, uh, yeah. I think. Yeah, no, absolutely. You know, again, didn't get to ride uh, the solid, but from what I rode in the splits, we rode them in similar conditions. Yeah, very versatile board. It can do everything really well. Um, it's not a specialist board in any way, but it's definitely going to be a board that can carry you through a whole season. Yeah, and maybe the next time we test it, it won't. We won't like premature springulation happened on. We might us. have a whole new view on this board after we get into some pow too. Yeah. Yeah, the premature <laughs> springulation happened quickly and it was unapologetic about it and stuck around. And we never really got to test this in any like like legit conditions that yeah. most people want to ride in. So there you have it. The Cardiff Crane. All our reviews are a best effort, objective opinion from an average rider's perspective. There's no brand oversight and we're free to say whatever we want. We send back everything unless it's a favorite, then we ask to keep those or straight up buy them. Now, if you need advice, fill out the Me Harmony profile in the Contact Us section of the site. It's the only way I can help you properly. If you want to support us, and if what we reviewed appeals to you, it helps if you buy through our links. So, thanks for watching.